What's up, Elite Thenx athletes? It's Stefan Heria and Osvaldo Lugones. Welcome to another video of Official Thenx. Today, we're going to teach you how to do a one-arm pull-up. All right guys, before we get into the one-arm pull-up, let me explain to you what a one-arm pull-up is. A one-arm pull-up is a compound exercise pulling type movement that mainly utilizes your lats, rear delts, biceps, forearms, and your core. So a one-arm pull-up starts with hanging from the bar, palms facing forward, elbows locked out, and feet elevated off the ground. Then you're gonna use your rear delts, lats, and your bicep to pull towards the bar with your opposite shoulder. Chin goes above the bar, and then you're gonna reset by coming down in a slow and controlled manner to the starting position. Benefits of the one-arm pull-up include being able to isolate one side of the body as well as correct any muscle imbalances you may have. Unlike regular pull-ups, one-arm pull-ups require much more stabilization of the core so that you're not twisting while doing the movement. The one-arm pull-up is an advanced calisthenics exercise, but before beginning to learn the one-arm pull-up, it is very important you can pass these requirements comfortably. You want to make sure you can do at least 15 pull-ups, a 15-second dead hang on each arm, 15 scapula shrugs, and 15-second else's. If you can do those, you're ready to start. So now, Osvaldo is going to show you guys what a one-arm pull-up should look like. Now, I'm gonna show you guys the progressions to this exercise incorporated into a workout routine to have you master the one-arm pull-up. We'll be starting from the hardest progression to the easiest progression. So follow along and jump in at whichever progression is right for you. All right, so let's get into this workout routine. We're gonna be starting with the first progression, which is also the hardest progression, and that's gonna be the one-arm pull-up hold, five seconds on each arm. You want to make sure that you're gripping that bar as tight as you can, utilizing your forearm and stabilizing your core so that you're not swinging during the movement. Other side, five seconds. The one arm pull up hold is going to work your bicep at the peak of the movement and it's also going to give you that control and strength to hold your body with your chin above the bar. So let's go on to the next progression, which is going to be the one arm jumping pull up negative. You want to jump only with enough force so that you're actually using your lats and biceps as well as your rear delts to do most of that work. You also don't want to just drop down from the bar at the top of the movement. You want to do it in a slow and controlled manner so that you're still engaging those muscle groups. All right, so you're gonna go for five reps on each arm. The jumping one arm pull-up negative has two components, the rise and the descent. You want to make sure that as you develop your strength doing this exercise, you're jumping less every time and you're coming down slower as well. All right, so the next progression to this workout is going to be the assisted one arm pull up. We're going to be using a resistance band. And if you don't have a resistance band, you can get one at thenx.com slash shop. While doing the assisted one-arm pull-up, you want to make sure that you're doing five reps on each arm. While doing this exercise, you also want to make sure that you're leading with your opposite shoulder. So if he's gripping with his left hand, he's going to pull towards his right shoulder. As always, you want to make sure you're keeping your core tight so that you're not swinging and twisting during this movement. This is a great exercise and progression to learning the one-arm pull-up. Make sure to focus on the arm that's gripping the bar and not the one holding the resistance band. 
That's going to help you develop the strength on the arm that you really want to work on. As you build strength with this exercise, you can progressively grip the resistance band lower and lower to increase the difficulty of this exercise. Let's move on to the next progression, which is going to be the one-arm pull-up Australian. You can use either a low bar or gymnastics rings. We're going to be using rings. Similarly, with the other progressions, you want to use your opposite shoulder as the focal point of where you're pulling toward. This is going to help with stabilization and balance when you're actually going for that one-arm pull-up. Make sure that when doing these exercises, you keep your core really tight so there's a straight line in your body and there's not a curve like a C. This exercise becomes more difficult the more forward your feet are. As you start to bring your feet further back, it becomes easier and easier. All right, so let's move on to the final progression, which is also the easiest exercise of this workout routine. So this move is called the single arm alternating dead hang. We're gonna be going for five reps on each arm. As you see, Osvaldo is keeping his body in a straight line. He's not twisting or turning. All right, so the main benefits of this exercise is gonna get you used to holding your body on one arm. Make sure you're engaging your entire body before switching from arm to arm. You wanna repeat these exercises for a total of four times to complete this workout and have you on your way to mastering the one arm pull-up. So with that said, thank you Osvaldo so much for helping us demonstrate today. And thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed this video or it helped you in any way, definitely smash that like button and catch us every Sunday, 8 p.m. USA Eastern Time. And if you comment within the first 30 minutes, you always have a chance to win some Thenx gear. And if you're trying to get into the best shape of your life, then sign up right now to thenx.com Get full access to all our workout programs, technique guides, and daily workouts that are going to have you in the best shape of your life. Download the Thenx app in the App Store. Comment down below and let us know what you want the next video to be about, and we'll see you next Sunday.